What are ALT and AST? And how can we interpret them? Let's find out. Hi, if you're new to this channel, my name is Jonathan Downham and I'm an advanced critical care practitioner here in the UK. I've worked in critical care for over 25 years and during that time, I have never stopped learning. I share a lot of that learning here on YouTube, as well as on my podcast and on Facebook. All of the links you can find below. If you want to subscribe to the channel and give the video a like, please do. Alanine aminotransferase, ALT, and aspartate aminotransferase, AST, are two enzymes that can be detected in the blood when there is liver damage. It's useful to know a little more about these two enzymes in order to help with interpretation of the liver function tests. AST can convert oxoacetate to aspartate and back again, if needed, by moving the amino acids. Oxalacetate is an energy metabolite found in every cell of the human body. It holds a key place in the Krebs cycle within the mitochondria, providing energy to the cells. Aspartate is one of the 20 building block amino acids of proteins. So this is a normal liver function carried out by this enzyme, AST. Just as important is the role of ALT, which can do the same with alanine and pyruvate. Alanine is an amino acid that is used to make proteins. Pyruvate is the end product of glycolysis and is ultimately destined for transport into mitochondria as a master fuel input. AST has a half-life of about 17 hours, which is shorter than ALT. AST is not only found in the liver but can also be found in the muscle, kidneys and the heart. So a raised AST isn't necessarily a problem with the liver. ALT has a half-life of 48 hours, so stays in the system longer and is more specific to damage to the liver. Some of the causes of elevated liver enzymes would include viral hepatitis or hepatobiliary obstruction, where the bile starts to backflow into the liver, causing inflammation and damage. This can cause a rise of between two to eight times the normal levels. In chronic persistent hepatitis, there will be a more moderate elevation, with the ALT being higher than the AST. Remember, the half-life is longer. Where there is biliary involvement, the alkaline phosphatase levels will also be elevated. Drugs such as alcohol and paracetamol can cause elevated enzymes. And one of the causes I commonly see is the ischemic liver, whereas the, there has been a substantial drop in blood pressure for some time compromising the blood, blood supply, commonly happens with the septic patient who is shocked. In this case, you can see the enzymes up in the thousands. Paracetamol overdose can also cause very elevated levels of ALT. The ratio between ALT and AST can sometimes indicate the likely problem. In chronic liver disease, not caused by alcohol, such as a fatty liver, then ALT is higher than AST until cirrhosis develops when they swap. If the AST-ALT ratio is greater than 2, then it is probably alcohol related. If the AST-ALT ratio is greater than 5, then this might suggest a source of AST outside of the liver. Remember, it's present in the muscles, kidneys and heart, so it could be, for example, a rhabdomyolysis or an acute MI. These ratios can be hard to remember, but with practice, looking at deranged levels, you should get the hang of it. 